I'm Marco, I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. We are continuing down the Punishing Grey Raven Greatest Hits train. Today we're going to be listening to Lamia. This was super requested on my Narwhal video, which you can find here. Let's take a listen. So in this case, we have this underwater concept and this other underwater quality, which I think as we continue to unravel the music, we are eventually going to emerge to the surface of the water. This is interesting because it's not dissimilar to Narwhal where we had whale sounds and things, but this bubbling to the surface before we unravel and unleash whatever fury we have. And I don't know what the context of this piece is at all, but it's a really interesting thing because in a lot of ways, it can also be perceived as a heartbeat in a lot of ways. Well, let's keep listening. Uh, really quick, there's also this element of echolocation where it's like and you're clicking. It feels like we're surrounded in water, but we're strong and capable. Now we're setting up the beat. We're setting up, this is the structure, slow, setting up the beat, and then we add a melody. Da, 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 da. There's a melody in the upper voice, and I think we're gonna add a soprano here in a second as well, that comes in over top, which is really cool because despite the fact that this is like trance, EDM, whatever genre, electronica, whatever, there is still a melodic component to it that ties in the overall feeling of the piece. Now, obviously in this section, it feels like we're finally like, I don't know, in my brain, in my imagination, we're jumping out of the water and we've surprise attacked somebody and it's like a big slash as we start off. It's it's really cool. Um, you know, I, again, I don't know what Lamia is. At this point, I'm also listening to the music more intently than I am like necessarily figuring out a characterization because the music is actually fascinating to me. Let's keep going. I'll try not to stop too much because it's hard when, when we're in a propelled beat at a certain rhythm. It's hard to be like, it's very jarring to stop. So I'm gonna try not to, but inevitably I will.
before the song ends, I just want to... <laughs> wow. First of all, what a sick drop. I love that choral, like that, I'm okay with that pattern. Like, let's just do that indefinitely because that's sick. The solo soprano over top, there's a desperation in that sound quality. You know, things are not great. There's a situation that's actually pretty dire. And we know that in drama, generally, stakes always need to be very high. What's great about this music is that it, it it takes the drama the floor of the drama and doubles it and i think that the trance edm electronica sound quality really sets the stage and then when you add the the vocalism which is a very human thing right we all the singing singing brings about a humanity i think that that really transcends and cuts through music like there's a soundscape and then you add humanity to it and suddenly it does something to us as listeners where we're like oh and then for whatever reason the soprano voice is always the one that gets picked and, and i think that that's a very interesting thing too because the soprano voice symbolizes purity grace elegance it's, it's hard because male voices and singing in video game music tend to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more uh, soundscape around dominance and around like masculinity. So you don't necessarily hear a voice like mine in something like this, which I would love to have that change because I think like there is elegance in especially the tenor voice. That's a separate discussion, but that humanity really cuts through. And so the stakes automatically get even higher when we hear the, the female voice over top. There is a sense of like, this is a, a fight you know, to the death. This is a fight that maybe we thought that we could win, but then actually we're struggling with. But no, 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 we're fine. We're going to overcome it. So that's what's really fascinating to me about this is that we have this huge long buildup and it doesn't really like pop off until near the middle end. And uh, that, 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 it, it sort of makes me feel like, oh, well, things were going really well. But then when the soprano voice comes in, then we have some seriousness there that we need to be careful of. It's really cool. Let's finish out the song. Yeah, sick. And we're also like very clearly not underwater anymore, right? This music is so freaking cool. Yeah, what else can I possibly say? Check out the Hikari video if you want to check out more Punishing Grey Raven. I've also got Narwhal on the channel. If you want to support the channel, there's links in the about section. If you want to join the Discord, feel free. And as always, thanks a ton. And hey, I'll talk to you later.